But yeah, the truck now. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today I am finally getting this little thing that's pretty insignificant fixed on my Raptor that I just wish that Ford offered an option on it. Um, but before I go over that, I want you guys just to see this quick clip. I was going through all of the uh, clips of me offering the Raptor, and I actually found a clip that I completely forgot about where it was the uh, GoPro on the side of the truck, and it was right before it got completely covered in mud. But it sounds really funny, and it, it looks pretty cool because you actually see the Raptor, how the suspension looks when it jumps. So here's that quick, or quick, here is that clip quickly. Okay, so now what am I talking about on the Raptor? And again, this is really, really silly, so don't make too much fun of me. But it is the skid plate on the Raptor, so we've got to go around the uh, obvious tree as always. But yeah, the Raptor does not have an option to make the skid plate any other color than the silver that it already is, which is pretty frustrating in my opinion. Now, the reason I say that is um, on my Rebel that I had, you actually, for 2020, you can get a option called the Black Rebel Group, which basically makes it so that the skid plate is completely blacked out, matches everything else on the truck. And you can't do that on the Raptor. Now, when my Raptor was black, and I'll, throw, I'll show in pictures of everything so you guys can see this, when my Raptor was black, it really didn't look too bad. But now that the top of the Raptor is orange, it's just... I don't know, it's just too much going on because the black at least was dark and all this stuff was dark and so then it's kind of like you got the dark part and then you have the little light part at the bottom. Whereas now it's like you have the bright gold orange and then you have the dark part and then you have this random bit of silver and I mean you guys can see it just, anytime a Raptor is like a weird color it always just kind of looks funny on the front end just because the skid plate's sitting there. But fear no more, we are finally getting that fixed and hopefully I mean I tried to clean my Raptor as much as I could but I'm kind of worried that the skid plate isn't um, clean enough so I don't know I tried I tried it, it, it's not much but it's honest work Well, we kind of have a little bit of a change of plans, so I'm taking the truck to the car wash first because I just looked at the skid plate more and it's kind of worse than I originally thought, so definitely need to get that cleaned off um, because, yeah, it needs to be cleaned before it gets wrapped. And I actually need your help, guys. What do you guys know that I would be able to do to get this cleaned off? I know it seems like it's simple, but I can't just spray it with water because I have all the seat stuff here and obviously I don't want to get the seat sprayed with water because I could run the AC function and I'm just... And then there's all this stuff happening here. So if you guys could leave down in the comment section below what you know about being able to get, I mean, this stuff is like, it's like, it's like clay essentially. So super, super hard. And yeah, I, I haven't really figured out how to get rid of it, but um, let's set off now. Well, I just got the uh, exterior of the truck and the sun is just basically coming up over the mountain there. And yes, the mountains are beautiful as always, but It'll kind of give you guys an idea of what the uh, truck looks like now that it's all clean and hopefully this is uh, sufficient work down here for uh, Doug to be able to wrap it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got like 99% of the uh, stuff, but we're going to head out there now and get the uh, skid plate done. Well, we're finally here and I guess a moment of truth on whether or not that's going to be good enough. Doug's doing his uh, expert driving skills to get the uh, truck up onto the puck so that they can reach the skid plate a little bit easier. Or actually. I tried earlier and I couldn't get it, so that was a lot better than me. Well, we've got the uh, skid plate off now and it's actually not too bad up there. There's a little bit of dirt and stuff up there, but it's pretty clean. This thing right here is pretty dirty. But the skid plate, this this tells the true story. So this is why this is why you get a skid plate, by the way. This one over here is pretty bad actually. It goes all the way down. Yeah, skid plate's not too dirty either, actually, though. I, get, I did a pretty good job with uh, cleaning it. But yeah, definitely uh, <laughs> have hit this thing a couple times. So if you ever go off-roading, make sure you've got these. 
Well, I'm here at the Toyota dealership while I'm waiting for the uh, truck to get wrapped and I was hoping there was gonna be a 2020 Highlander. There is, but it's on the showroom so I can't review it. And the other one is still in transport. So we're still gonna have to wait on that. But I found something pretty interesting. This is a car I'm gonna do a review on. It's a Corolla Nightshade Edition, which I've never heard of that before. So that's why I'm gonna do a video on it and just see what that basically means. I'm guessing it's just gonna be all blacked out. And while we're also here, I wanted to give an update on my back. A lot of people have been asking on that. so. It's actually gotten substantially better. I've been doing a bunch of rehab work with it and everything and I actually don't have a whole lot of pain anymore. Still can't really lift. Um, I've been like lifting the bar for <laughs> the past week and yeah, it's sad, but it's helping a lot and I'm just excited for when I'll actually be able to lift and get exercise again so that I can kind of continue to do with my uh, weight loss plan because yeah, this is kind of throwing a wrench in it. Hey look, they did get another uh, Camry TRD. This one's uh, black again. It's always interesting to see these cars before they've gone through their uh, PDI, which is pre-delivery inspection. Oh, this truck's kind of getting in the way. But yeah, looks pretty cool. And by the way, the truck that's getting in the way is a uh, Tundra TRD Pro, which again, I just, I wish that they would do a little bit more aggressive tires. Everything else on this truck is pretty cool. Mud flaps and just the look, the rims, but just tires. Needs different tires in my opinion. And yeah, that's cool. Just regular TRD Tacoma there. Actually, this is like the TRD section. Like everything is TRD and TRD Pro. That bird won't shut up. But yeah, everything here is TRD or TRD Pro, which is interesting. So yeah, TRD section over here. Oh, we've got John that's gonna take me back to pick up the truck and he's just uh, bowling out in the driveway with his Mercedes. I've shown this to you guys a million times, but the coolest part is always the front splitter. Just makes it look so much more aggressive. Popping out from the Mercedes, and if you're wondering, I, I'm holding all these papers in my arm, so camera angles are awkward. But look, this is this is what every Mercedes owner looks like. Exactly. I mean, like Fresh. probably probably like those cufflinks right there are probably worth more than this entire outfit. But if you're wondering why I have my cell phone out, this is this is how you guys actually tell how gold the overlaminate actually is is just under direct light. But yeah, the truck now completely transformed. I know you guys might not think that it's that crazy. But just doing the skid plate now, it just makes it look so much better because now the Raptor has this nice clean look where it's orange on the top and then gray on the bottom instead of orange on the top, then gray, then down to the silver. And if you're wondering, this is textured plastic here, so it's kind of like black in color. I know it's hard to tell. This is the same exact color as the bumper, so it's like that metallic gray. You can see the bumper right next to it. The best way is to look at this angle. So you see how it looks there, and then the bumper there completely matches with the bumpers now on the truck. And so, yeah, if you own a Raptor, I don't care what color your Raptor is, doing this just transforms it, makes it look so much cleaner. And yeah, I can still tell this color just, yeah, I don't think a camera pictures anything will ever capture, but you can kind of see as I'm moving along the truck, how the color just changes. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I just got back and before we cap things off for the video, I kind of need your guys' help just, just a little bit. So I'm still not 100% on the C8 Corvette. I'm really, really leaning towards it, but I'm still not like, I don't know, still not 100% on it. However, if I do go for the C8, I want you guys to leave down in the comment section below um, what color configuration you would go for because I've already figured out what options I want. That is basically, there's there's no changing that and i have an idea of what configuration i want but i want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what configuration you would want me to put i am going into chevy tomorrow to configure the spec that i think that i am going to go for and maybe i'll order one i haven't decided yet it's i don't know i i've never been on this like on the fence this much about a car before but it's just it's one of those purchases that's really, really tough. And the reason why it's so difficult for me is I honestly had my mind set on another car, which I mean, I'll just tell you guys this at this point because I'm not, probably not, well, I shouldn't say that I won't, but I had my mind set on getting an Audi R8 V10 with a gated manual. And I don't know, it's just one of those cars that I've always dreamed about having. Um, I love the Gallardos as well. The problem with the Gallardos, even though they're pretty much the same cars, they're really hard to find. People want way too much money for them, in my opinion, for what it is. And 
So just between those two factors, that kind of pushed me over to the Audi. And then I realized I've always wanted to have an R8. But then the thing that keeps coming across my mind is I can always buy an Audi R8 V10 and that'll always be cool. Like they don't make gated manual V10 R8s anymore. So if I buy one, it's always gonna be like a special experience. It's always gonna be fun. Whereas with the C8 Corvette, if I buy one now, it'll be a special experience because I'll get one of the first ones. I won't get the first one, but I'll get one of the first ones. So it'll be cool having the cool new car. Whereas if I get one in a year from now, it's just gonna be another Corvette. Everyone has one and I just threw my camera lens thing. But anyways, everyone will have one. And so it's just, I don't know, it's tough. And plus there's gonna be a ton of people that are gonna have a lot of cool content. The Stradman will have, I mean, I'm sure he'll probably do something crazy like he did with the Super. He'll probably wide body it. Maybe he'll turbo charge it, who knows. And then you've got Street Speed 717 and you know he's gonna do a crazy build on it. So I don't even know if it makes sense because I'm gonna have so much competition for content on that vehicle that people might not even watch what I'm posting, so, hmm. Well, now that I'm done complaining about my first world problems, that's gonna cap off things for today's video. So, if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you think, and then I will see all of you in that next video.